Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at five underrated handguns. Guns that are just unappreciated, except by their owners. They are the ones that say, I found a diamond in the rough here. Something that you don't see on YouTube too often, but a phenomenal handgun that I really enjoy. Accurate, nice features, all that is what will be shown today. But these handguns are underrated, in my opinion, by a large margin. What is this here? I've been waving it around. It's the Grand Power Q100. The Q100 is Grand Power's first striker fire handgun. You'll see right there that it has a cocked striker indicator and it has a rotating barrel that really softens the shot. We talk about the Beretta PX4 Storm, but we don't talk about the Q100. It has 15 round mags, it's a 9mm, ambidextrous controls all throughout, and a four and a quarter inch barrel. It looks super cool, it shoots so nicely. And one of the things that people always want is a great trigger. Well, this has a trigger tab in there, but you're looking at a four pound trigger pull. A little over travel with the reset right there, but that trigger pull, which is consistent with Grand Power handguns, is very light. If you ever get a chance to check out a Grand Power handgun, I highly suggest that you do. They are not readily available at your local gun store. You may have to search it out, but if you find one, you'll be pleasantly surprised at how well it performs and how underrated it actually is. When you hear shooters talk about revolvers, they typically refer to Smith & Wesson, Ruger, Colt, all great revolvers. I'm not arguing that point. They all have huge lines of revolvers. But how come we don't hear much about the RP63? Those other three that I mentioned are very expensive. For a 357 Magnum revolver, they are very expensive. The Rossi RP63 can be purchased for under 400 bucks, And in my opinion, it offers just as much. A full, all solid underlug. A three inch barrel, six chambers in the cylinder, an oversized cylinder release, hammer and trigger, excellent shooting revolver. The sights are no big deal. Tunnel rear sight, ramped up, removable front sight in case you want to put a night sight on there. But that hammer hosts the firing pin, which I think is super cool. And the trigger is so wide that when you have that pull with single action it just feels lighter than it actually is it, it has a rubber grip there but when i have taken this out it has performed so well it's so underrated it, it never gets spoken about at least i haven't heard much about it but I, th I tell you what i've had this for a couple months now and and i'm a fan and i think that it measures up with the smith and wesson ruger and colt pretty well and when you consider the price it blows them away every time i feature a polymer frame striker fire handgun this one's a nine millimeter people will say hey why don't you just get a glock get a glock and be done with it now why would i do that when this one actually costs less than a glock and offers so many more awesome features it ships with a 18 and 20 round magazine this is the tesis PX9 Gen 3 Night Stalker. Cerakote gray all throughout. Looks super cool. Has an HK effect with the grips. Additional grip panels and back straps. Excellent ergos. Custom fitted. The trigger is pretty awesome. We're looking at a four pound trigger pull with a trigger tab in there with a reset right there. It's a flat trigger. Also has a cocked Striker indicator in the back, that's red. Optic ready, I have a Gideon Omega green dot on there with a big window. Uh, tritium front sight, okay, all these are additional with Glocks, by the way. A full Picatinny rail on the dust cover, slide cuts that look super cool. 5.1 inch threaded barrel. The 20 round mag is pretty awesome. I'm not complaining about the 18 round mag either, but it shoots incredibly well. And the PX9 Gen 3s have a pretty good reputation, but the Night Stalker is where it's at. It's their best model, and I think it's underrated. Under 500 bucks for all that. Still of a deal.
When Stoger came out with the STR9, some people took notice, not many, but what they did was come up with a full line of STR9 handguns. Now, this is one of the older ones because it's not optic ready, but I still love it. It's called the STR9 C, made by Stoger. It has 13 round mag, 3.7 inch barrel, very deep cut slide serrations. You can see that both in the front and the rear. Many options available, okay? Comes with additional palm swells. The, uh, night sights are available, additional magazines and everything. It's a bit of an upcharge, but you're looking at 329 with this handgun and one 13 round mag. That that's a steal. You're actually picking it up under 300 bucks. And the way this performs, also a trigger tab safety in there, is really nice. A little bit of a heavier trigger. But it is a straight shooter. There is no doubt about that. It also has a loaded chamber indicator bar that pops up there. But it has been reliable. I've shot steel case, aluminum case, hollow points through this. And I have not had a problem with any of the Stoger STR9 handguns that I own. And so the people who have them say, wow, I just picked up something that is an incredible shooter for not a lot of money. And therefore, in my estimation, it's underrated because people, once again, will say, why don't you just get a Glock? Well, you could get a Glock, but you could also get a Stoger STR9C and save yourself a couple hundred bucks. I have noticed that a lot of CCW carriers are going with mid-size handguns. And this one is a great choice, but you seldom hear about it. Now, you can pick it up for between $350 and $400. Bucks. It's called the Masada 9S or Masada Slim ORP. ORP is the red dot capability. Very slim. Slimmer than most double stacks out there. 13 round magazine, 3.4 inch barrel. Optic ready. If it says ORP, that means it is optic ready pistol i have a Howson eps carry on there green dot excellent green dot but what really sells this is the flat face trigger i think it's great has a trigger tab in there very reliable in in large magazine release triangle one but you're looking at five pounds with a reset right there that is a short reset now, the people who own these will testify that they love it. And it feeds, fire, and ejects everything. Excellent overall handgun. Not a bad disassemble. But the grip texturing, the tall sights, the ORP, what it offers, including the reliability. Say you catch it on sale for $350. Bucks, extremely underrated. Great handgun. But people... Don't want to talk about it because it's not in the mainstream. Well, if there's one thing I've learned in life is that if you follow the mainstream, you can expect to be average like everybody else. But if you search what's out there and you check out some of the reviews, you will learn people love this handgun. So those are my choices of underrated handguns. I, I think they're very much underrated. I think in each case, they sell for a below average price while delivering above average quality or I wouldn't have them out here right now and I'm confident with these but I want to know what you think is out there that's underrated that has performed awesome for you and we can get the conversation started if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe